everyone. Yes, it is that time of design. I'm still riding off the buzz of the Oshkosh Horror Film Festival 2011 that I got to go to last Saturday. I apologize for not getting the reviews up sooner, but, you know, real life does tend to horn in. But I will be giving you my opinions of all the things that I got to see there. And we're going to start off right away with Screaming in High Heels. It was the only documentary at the feature, and it actually covers the B-horror movie genre, especially, uh, specifically the uh, Scream Queens of the 80s, the original Queen the ones that did a lot, a lot of work in a lot, a lot of B-horror movies. And you may recognize names of Michelle Bauer, Brink Stevens, and Leanna Quigley, who is still doing movies, of course, in, uh, you may see her recently in Stripperland. We talked about her before. Now, it's produced by B Plus Boys Productions. It was written and directed by Jason Paul Collum and edited by Derek Carey, who was actually on hand, Derek was, uh, to answer some questions in the q and I posted that up. You should check it out. Really interesting stuff stuff about this documentary as well as uh, some information about where uh, it's going to be coming out hopefully in the near future. Now, this documentary covers the uh, golden age of B-horror, okay, as it was rising in its height and the rise of uh, Leanna, Michelle, and uh, Brink as they became stars in the B-horror scene, okay? And what I, what I really loved about this documentary was that it was a nice, frank, true look at the B-horror film. It didn't try to make it too light, you know, kind of poke tongue-in-cheek fun at it. it. It gives a very frank and true picture of what the industry was like back then and how hard it was for these uh, ladies to uh, get work later on or, you know, how to deal with their family versus their professional life and just a lot of things uh, covered in this film that you have not seen in a number of other documentaries about B-horror. And it was a fantastic look into that genre and the video footage that they had the editor uh, Derek Carey had a lot of movies to go through and what's great about it is I'm going through this and as I'm watching the documentary I go oh what's that clip from and I start writing it down because I gotta go start looking for it like Nightmare Sisters uh, among others okay and there were other films too that they uh, covered that I go oh I've seen that but what is really great is it gives you a great picture of uh, what things were like, the, the hardship that these ladies went through, and the hardships that some of them are still going through because of that. Plus, it gives you a flavor of how uh, things changed in the B-horror movie industry and uh, how things, why they tapered off. I mean, it's a great insight into that genre. If you're a fan, even if you're not a fan and are curious about B-horror movie, I suggest when you see it in your TV listing, if you see it on the DVD shelf in the near future, which hopefully it will be out there, I suggest you watch it because it is enlightening, informative, and just great entertainment and uh, a great documentary. Yes, that's right. This documentary got four stubs in my book, folks. It was a four stubber. Fantastic material. Great, you know, information and just, I, I learned a number of things in there. Plus, I've got to go start digging on the internet to try to find some of those movies because let me tell you, folks, they cover a lot of video. And that'll about do it for us here at Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.